In the last tutorial, we were able to actually uh, get our, our app to navigate to a login screen, but we hadn't actually built, uh, built the login screen itself yet. So in this one, we're actually going to build the login screen. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm actually going to steal a login screen here. So I'm going to go Android login screen template into Google. And it's going to click this link here from sourcey.com. And I just, just to uh, speed things up a little bit here. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to copy their entire layout here for the sign in activity. And I'm going to paste it in here. And now we're just going to change a few things. We're just going to edit it and uh, build it into what we need it to be. So since we got the Reddit alien already in here, we can go and call get the Reddit alien image for that up top. And just note that you're going to need to use, um, you're going to need to have the uh, what is it the design library in here to use the widgets in this activity so like this uh, text input layout and this text input layout and this app compact button you're gonna need the um, the, co the design library right here to use those widgets so just know that if something isn't working it's probably because you don't have this dependency in there so make sure you got that so that's pretty much it that's all we're gonna do for this layout the only th one more thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a relative layout at the top here. I'm going to go match parent, match parent, and I'm going to throw the entire contents of that linear layout inside. And then I'm just going to throw a progress, a progress bar in here and that's it. So we'll make this a pretty big one. We'll do hundred DP by hundred DP and we'll give it an ID of whoops, ID login request loading progress bar very long but we got a whole bunch of progress bars in this app so I want to make sure that I know which one is which indefinitely and we're gonna center this in parent set that to true and I'm gonna steal the style from one of the other progress bars here this guy right here Just copy that from activity comments and I'll paste that at the bottom now that we have our layout built we're gonna actually go into login activity and we're gonna start uh, getting some of the widgets ready for when we actually sign in. So we'll go private, uh, create the progress bar, and private edit text for the I'll go M username and private edit text for M password. And that should be good for now. Let's go into on create and let's get those widgets. So Edit text uh, time view by ID or the ID dot should be it should be input password. I thought it was input password, but maybe not. Let's go back to the activity login and see what that widget was called. Should be input password. There it is right there. So I'm not sure why that's not being recognized. In my last tutorial, it was having troubles recognizing IDs also. So I'm not there's there seems to be some kind of an issue with my project. I'm going to try and rebuild it again and let's uncomment this now that it's been rebuilt and there it's actually recognizing that ID now so I'm not I'm not really sure what's going on with that but sometimes it just happens you gotta rebuild the project and uh, now it seems to be uh, seeing those IDs this oh I forgot to change this name this needs to be username and we're gonna go back to uh, activity login and go up to that widget and I'm gonna change this to uh, username and this is going to be input username and I want to make sure I change this just to text not text email address otherwise if the people try and log in with that widget and they don't have an and symbol in there it will, the the app will give them an error so we need to change this to text alright back to login activity everything seems to be good there so now let's attach the progress bar to an ID uh, which one was it? it was uh, login request progress bar and then the progress bar we want to set the visibility to view dot gone for when the activity starts we only want to make the progress bar visible for when the person actually tries to log in oh and then of course we need our button so we'll go button login equals button find your id arda id dot uh, button whoops button login is likely the id i'll just go over here and double check that click here there we have button login okay so that's good close activity comments so there's all of our widgets now I'm just going to attach an on click listener to the login button and I just want to log that we actually whoops I want to log that we actually clicked that button so I'll go attempting to log 
in, let's do period, and we want to get the username equals m username get text to string, and string password equals m password get text, whoops, get text to string, and we'll just do some exception handling, so we want to make sure that those values aren't null, so if, whoops, if not, if not, username equals null, and not password equals null, then we will proceed. And at that point, we want to actually make our progress bar visible, so we can go view.visible, and then we're going to have some kind of a method for signing in. Method for signing in. But I'm not going to write that uh, method yet. We're going to need to declare a whole bunch of new object classes. We're going to need to create a new um, a new post request in our API for actually trying to log in. So there's going to be quite a bit of stuff we are going to need to do when we make this method. So I'm going to stop this video here and we're going to get started with creating the retrofit stuff for logging into your Reddit account in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.